Welcome back to 100% Mag. So I hope you're all staying safe and well out there. So this is just going to be a quick one to talk about the recent news that's circulating around. Now, I don't really know how to cover this one because it's not a video that I'm, you know, into talking about, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to try my best to give you my thoughts on this one and, of course, talk about what happened as well uh, from... Of course, what Craig Hope has put out on his article last night. Now, I didn't want to report about this, of course, until I seen, you know, that it was uh, legit and that there was legitimacy behind it uh, because I didn't want to speculate, especially with it involving a Newcastle United player in it. But as you might have guessed, um, of course, this news is, of course, Jamal Lascelles uh, being attacked in a violent city centre brawl in Newcastle alongside, of course, his brother and a friend that was with him at the time, of course, in Newcastle. Um, now, this happened, uh, a lot of people were saying, after the game against Liverpool. It actually didn't happen after the game against Liverpool. It actually happened on the Sunday after the game against Manchester City down at the Etihad. Now, this was in an establishment called China White. Uh, of course, Craig Hope is saying it in his article, but quite a few people are saying that it was at the Mail Castle in Newcastle. Um, but I've got to say, no matter where it is, you know, it's happening in our city and that is something we do not want to see. And especially it's happening to, of course, you know, anybody, to be honest. But to be happening to, of course, a Newcastle United player in our city is not a good thing. It's not a good image uh, for us as a city. It's not a good image for our uh, players as well uh, because, you know, it doesn't board safety. It doesn't show... You know that the players are going to be safe in this city now this doesn't happen often obviously but this you know is something that i'm glad to see that the police have addressed very very quickly and uh, the club already know about this as well the club are you know investigating it internally like the club like to do uh which is the right thing to do you know nobody needs this to be out in the public now jamal Lascelles is by no means uh in the wrong here um, you can clearly see in the footage, you know, that Jamal Lascelles is clearly uh, only, you know, attacking back in self-defence. And, the, of course, 68 men that started this whole thing are the instigators here. They are the ones who, of course, started it all. Uh, you can see a vodka bottle thrown across the road, which narrowly misses Jamal Lascelles' head. So, luckily, you know... Uh, Jamal Lascelles, his brother, 19 years old, of course, and uh, his friend have all come away from this without any massive serious injuries. Uh, his friend was unfortunately knocked out unconscious for 15 minutes. Uh, and he, of course, quite a few people feared the worst, uh, as you would. But it turns out now that, of course, his friend, Jamal Lascelles' his friend, is now in a much better condition than he was uh, of course when the paramedics arrived on the scene the police arrived on the scene quite quickly to this as well uh, which you would expect considering that it is the city centre uh, so you would expect the police to arrive pretty fast to an incident of this magnitude as you can see by the footage you know it's not very nice um, and I don't know why you know people immediately in their head go to let's solve our you know conflicts by going and punching each other's lights out this doesn't solve any conflicts for anybody you know the, even if you do uh win the fight you're not winning you know you're not winning anything you're gonna end up in prison uh because of doing stuff like this so it doesn't you know help anybody at all uh, to be honest, but it's nice to say that the players, you know, um, Jamal Lascelles has come away from this without any serious injuries. It's nice, you know, to see that everything is being dealt with in a professional manner and hopefully we don't see uh, any repeats of this sort of stuff going on in the city uh, again, you know, because this is just not what we want. You know, we're trying to 
have a much better image going forward uh, for the club after being under a horrible owner for 14 years. And this is not the sort of stuff, you know, that we need happening now. Clearly, it's been uh, instigated by them 68 men. And, you know, whoever they are, whoever they support, um, you know, then they should feel ashamed of themselves for doing what they did. Uh, because that is absolutely out of line. And then there was also shouts, of course, as the reports say, to shoot Jamal Lascelles and his brother. That is serious, serious business. And it is really, really important. And it is very, very nice to say that the police have dealt with this appropriately and are investigating it right now uh, as we speak. Uh, but let us know your thoughts, of course, down in the comments below. Like I say, uh, not a subject that I really want to talk about on the channel. I don't feel comfortable talking about it on the channel neither. And, of course, you know, um, I didn't want to come out straight away and report on this. I seen the footage last night. I wasn't too sure if it was Jamal Lascelles in the footage because it wasn't that clear of the footage to make out the faces properly. But... Now that the reports have come out, the legitimacy that is there, you know, uh, I have decided to put this video up and, you know, give me thoughts on it. But if you have liked this video, please hit a like on it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one or whatever that's.